um, kind of strange, but that's okay. Right. So uh, when we do traditional textiles of India, I'm going to take topic on traditional textiles of India. I hope you have some idea on the textiles of India. So uh, basically, when we talk about traditional textiles of India, it can be divided into the woven textiles, the printed te and painted textiles, and the surface ornamented textiles, which is mostly the embroideries that we do in India. We are going to begin with Kashida of Kashmir. By the way, how much is the timing in anything? Nothing like it. You Maybe just you yeah. have to come with prepare with a five to ten minutes presentation okay. so that we just could see the teaching skills <laughs> and then uh, so that kind of thing. Five, five, six, okay, so when we talk about Kashida of Kashmir, it is an embroidery technique which is beautifully done in Kashmir in, on shawls, on um, you know suits and fabrics because Kashmir is known for its natural beauty and uh, the history it dates back to the time of Mughals and you know Kashmir being the paradise on earth and specifically in India it has so much of nature and color in itself that all of that comes onto the fabric in terms of embroidery that is how Kashiga comes in origin the word Kashmir comes from Kas means water channel and Mir means mountain this is the history but when we talk about any um, Embroidery, I'm going to do with you these contents, which is history, fabrics, motifs, threads, stitches, color, and application. Application means the product, right? Okay. I do it like this. When we talk about uh, Kashida embroidery, it is, as I told you, it is known for its, and all of us have been using Kashmir products in terms of firins and shawls and carpets. So, all that beauty is what Kashida is all about. Uh, history of Kashida, very, very quickly, it, as I said, during the time of King Akbar, he, under his patronage, actually all the art forms in India flourished in a big, big way. Because he had an eye for beauty. So all that aesthetic, he wanted to capture nature on something. So when you talk about architecture, when you talk about textiles, fabrics, carpets, everything in the landscape was put onto the products. That's how the origin of Kashida has happened. Uh, basically, Kashida is a cottage industry because it's a small scale. Did you get here? Yeah. I did. 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 I did.